Hello everyone. I'm here today to, to take a look at a student schedule and how that would play out over the week in our remote learning that we have here at Prairie Ridge. Uh, what you see up top here is an example of a student schedule, uh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, written across here in the periods that they would be meeting, and then the classes over here on the right-hand side. Uh, down below, we have Monday schedule and Tuesday through Friday's schedule uh, in the remote learning uh, block. Uh, so let's get right to it. Uh, let's take a look at what Monday would look like. So what you see here from the 7 to 8.45 is called course learning team time. That's for teachers to meet, uh, work with each other, uh, collaborate on uh, developing their unit lessons uh, and making sure that they are prepared uh, to teach the content that needs to be taught within their courses. This 8.45 to 9.45 slot is called live student support meetings. This is where a teacher can work individually with a student via, Google, via Zoom or Google Meet uh, or with a group of students to give some feedback, uh, maybe review before an exam, um, those types of things. Uh, that can be uh, brought, uh, uh, brought on by a teacher. Uh, to, to students, but also if a student is having some issues, that's where a student could reach out to a teacher and ask uh, for some support time during that as well. Uh, so if we are looking at Monday here, the first period uh, is from 9.45 to 10.15. So this student, this student has a first hour uh, algebra class. The expectation is that student is going to be logging in at 9.45 a.m., working with that teacher, uh, working with uh, the student, the other students in that class live via, uh, via Zoom or a Google Meet. Um, as we work our way through this schedule, second hour, they would have chemistry that would meet from 1020 to 1050. And now here's an interesting one, um, as on Mondays, this student has what's called student comments, third hour. Uh, if we were in a live situation here at Prairie Ridge or even in the hybrid situation, that student, if they were here on Mondays, would be in student commons, which is basically like a study hall. Uh, in remote, what that means that for any student commons periods that they have, that is a break time um, or, again, a time where they can do some work. Maybe they got assigned in this first or second hour class or catch up on some work or studying for another class if they want to. But the bottom line to that is from 1055 to 1125, that's a student's time. Um, to, to do as they, free, as they see fit. Following suit the rest of that, that day on Monday, fourth hour they would meet with their Spanish two class, fifth hour mechanical design, sixth hour would be their lunch, um, seventh hour would be their um, English class, uh, and then eighth hour would be strength and conditioning, ninth hour would be their honor, honors world study. And basically, again, for any of those assigned courses that are neither student comms or lunch, the expectation is that student is logging in uh, through Canvas, uh, working with that teacher, working with the other students uh, during that Monday. Now let's skip over to Tuesday through Friday schedule here. Uh, Tuesdays and Thursdays are going to be our odd blocks, meaning the, the, the classes that are going to meet synchronously, meaning live via Zoom or via Google Meet with the teacher and the other students are periods 1, 3, 5, 7, 9 on Tuesdays and Thursdays and 2, 4, 6, 8 on Wednesdays and Fridays. So let's go through this just to give some examples of what that would look like. So on first hour on Tuesday morning, uh, your son or daughter is going to log in at 8 a.m. Um, and they're going to meet again live via Zoom, via Google Meet, um, with their teacher and the other students in that class for algebra. Uh, then we go to a third hour. Now, again, what we talked about on Tuesday, third hour, this student still has student comments, so that is a free period. They have from 920 to 1035 to catch up on other work, um, do, some, do some studying for another class, take a break, take a little walk if they'd like to, um, just to get away from the computer screen, but that is their time. Moving then in fifth hour, they would meet with their mechanical engineering class. There is a break every day from 12 to 12.15. 12 uh, then we work from our seventh hour class from 12.15 to 1.30. And then our ninth hour class, they'd finish out their day in Honors World Studies where they would log in via Canvas, work with that teacher, work with the other students in that class from 1.35 to 2.50. Now we sh shift over to this Wednesday even block. Similar to that Tuesday, um, but the difference is now we're meeting synchronously, which is live via Google, Zoom, via Google, Google Meet, with our periods 2, 4, 6, and 8. So eight at 8 a.m., um, they would be in honors chemistry here. Um, and that would go again from 8 to that 9.15 time frame. Fourth hour starts at 9.20. This is where they would be in Spanish 2. 
six hours at a lunch. So this is where they have some break time. And then they also have this built in break time that happens every day. And then eighth hour, they would have their strength and conditioning class. What you'll also notice on Wednesdays and Fridays, there's also some built in live student support meetings that are similar to what we talked about in this Monday schedule. So that again is some time where students, if they needed some extra help, could reach out to a teacher and set up a time where they could get that extra help. Uh, Thursday becomes a little interesting for the student, and I want to work through this just so everybody understands if you have a lab class. So for this student, first hour, no different than what happens on Tuesday, um, they're going to meet with their algebra class. Third hour, however, uh, if we look at their schedule, we come down third hour on Thursdays, they would have chemistry. They would be meeting synchronously live with their teacher via Zoom or via Google Meet um, for their third hour class. Then it goes with the flow of what we talked about, what happened on Tuesday to begin with. Um, they would be with their fifth hour class, that 1040 time slot, seventh hour at 1215, and ninth hour 135. The Friday even block for this student, the 2, 4, 6, and 8, is similar to their 2, 4, 6, and 8 on what they did on Wednesday. Again, the, on Friday, what they're doing is they're logging into Canvas, meeting with their teacher live via Google, Zoom, via, via Google Meet or, or Zoom, um, and we work through their schedule that way. And the week ends with another live support meeting down here. Um, hopefully that gives a little bit of an explanation of what, uh, how to read through a student's schedule and how that transfers into what the schedule looks like uh, for the week. Uh, if you do have more questions, uh, you can email me. My email is k-k-o-e-p-p-e-n at d155.org, and I'd be happy to help walk through any questions you may have. Uh, thanks and best of luck.